Hey everybody, how's it going today? Texas Redleg here. I wanted to do a video. It's been a while since I've done anything, and it's uh, been also been a while since I've done a live. But they've been doing some some internet, uh, you know, fiber optic upgrades, if you will, in the area, and it hasn't been working real good. So apologies for that, um, but it is what it is. So today, I sort of wanted to do a catch-all and talk about some things that. I'm sure that most of you are aware of. Um, however, if you're not, you know, maybe this video will help you reiterate or help me reiterate to you, you know, uh, things that you probably ought to be thinking about um, and, and coming to the realization of this is just how it is now. And unfortunately, people that uh, vote uh, aren't always the sharpest tools in the shed and um, put us in this position, if you will, uh, to suffer uh, as a group collectively uh, under certain regimes and certain political persuasions. And so let's talk about those things real quick. And you now if this video gets taken down, so be it. Um, but the, the title of the video is Chipping Away. And the powers that be are chipping away at certain things and I'm going to cover basically three areas in this video and I'm sure that most of you will agree some of you may have a difference of opinion that's okay but the the uh, feds and big brother and all their lackeys and uh, jack booted thugs that operate their departments and committees are chipping away at three basic areas and there's more than this but these are the basic areas that I'm talking about one is your financial freedom okay um, with the CBDC uh, coming on board and there's going to be uh, almost impossibility of uh, people like us uh, being you know anybody uh, using cash currency um, they're, they're going they're already doing it there's a lot of places that don't even take cash so they're implementing this implementing this so, somewhat softly uh, but before you know it it'll just be the new norm and, and these three areas that I'm going to cover you're going to find are just going to be the new norm and you can go look back through history and things that have been implemented you know tyrannically uh, to to uh, benefit a select few uh, will cost the many okay so financial freedom is one two is your personal security and three is the social justice mob mentality and implementation of rules and new norms if you will that are going to be thrust upon us and that already are being thrust upon us um one thing is the cbdc like i said the war on cash and they're going to be able to track everything that you purchase uh, through the banking system and all these new laws nobody has time to read anything anymore but all these new laws are going to indicate that uh, banks have an obligation to report this and that to the feds uh, you know, but uh, due to transactions and, and whatnot. So expect that. It's already in the, in the works. And on top of that, you've got the uh, IRS that is going to be uh, utilizing heavy tactics and enforcement on uh, we the people because, uh, you know, the people that work hard and save and do the right thing are going to have to subsidize those that don't. And this is the way that the commies work. And of course, the re most recent thing with the financial um, freedom loss that we're going to experience is the new uh, penalties on those of us with good credit. So those of, of you that own a home or to per are going to purchase a home that have good credit scores, I believe 720 or higher, uh, you are going to be subsidizing the people that have bad credit and that cannot normally afford a home it's because the government wants them to experience home ownership and so those of us that have done the right thing and uh, operated the way it's supposed to work are going to have to subsidize those who don't so they can have the experience of 
home ownership. So 2008, here we go again. Two, your personal security, okay? We already know the 2A restrictions that are being thrust upon us and that have already been implemented, depending on your jurisdiction that you live in, uh, it could be worse or somewhat better. So uh, again, we've talked about it before, where you you know live, where you, where you go to have fun, uh, you know, the jurisdiction that you live in matters. It matters with regard to defending yourself. It matters with regard to what you can possess. And so, uh, you know, we talked about it before. Again, like I said, you know, those of you that want a, a freedom-based lifestyle, you should have moved somewhere that that's respected. Because what they're doing is making it so, um, so, I would call it crime-friendly. Places like uh, Portland and Chicago, you've already probably seen, the crime is so bad, the shoplifting and the theft and shrinkage is so bad on these retailers that they're pulling out. I think that in Oregon, Portland, they're pulling all the Walmarts out. And maybe even Seattle. It's so bad. You know, you can't blame them. They've lost like $100 billion and they keep losing. So, you know, it is what it is. So, with the financial, you know, freedom attacks, um, having to subsidize bad creditor or bad credit um, scores so they can have home ownership. You know, I have a problem with that, but nevertheless, here it is. So again, your personal security, your 2A restrictions, and also your uh, agencies, the alphabet agencies, you know, uh, of course, increasing enforcement for uh, those restrictions at the federal level. So. Heavy-handed tactics on the enforcement side. Um, again, uh, people need to get creative and they need to be smart about what they do um, because uh, I think they're going to be looking for examples and um, they probably already have, you know, especially with the January 6th stuff. You know, they want to uh, basically criminalize any type of dissension, uh, whether it be verbal or otherwise. So. You know, you need to be be aware of what's going on, and it's already happening. And so number three is going to be the social justice mob. You know, the tactics that they are employing to uh, make it basically the, that the weird is the new normal, okay? Uh, if you're weird, you're normal, and that's just how it is. And those that us of us that don't embrace weird, we don't embrace it, we're the problem, okay? And so... That's not going to change, okay? The Alphabet Mafia is in full force, and uh, it is what it is. And it does matter where you live and what jurisdiction you, you uh, frequent and all that. So, again, you know where you are. You know the, the rules where you live. You know what they're trying to do or, and or are doing. So, keep that in mind. And then crime is so rampant, like I said, you know, crime is just okay in certain jurisdictions. And uh, if you are poor, it's really okay because you're just trying to eat. So crime is acceptable. Never, let, never mind all the uh, social programs that they've implemented and all the billions and billions of dollars that they have uh, continually pumped into social welfare systems. You know, that's not enough. Okay, so please realize what's going on here, people. This is a complete shakeup and up, you know, upsetting of the American way of life. And it is what it is. Accept it or do something about it. You know, again, if I lived in an area where this stuff was completely out of control and and basically not safe and not uh, economically friendly, I would look for a place to go. Okay. You know, maybe you don't have a bunch of money. Maybe you have to sell most of your stuff and just go with what you got. But at least you'll be somewhat more free and safe than where you are now. So, you know, and I'll close with this. There is no more if they're going to do this or they won't do this because they are doing it. And there is no if, ands, or buts, people. This is happening. And so, please review your situation. Know your... Know your area. Make changes if you need to. And everybody, keep prepping. Stack it deep. And long live the Republic.